This is Lucas Johannes from Hot Congress Records. You're listening to Literati Podcast.
Welcome to the show. This is episode 23 of the Literati Records podcast. I'm your host, Marcus. My guest today is Lucas Johannes of Hot Congress Records, one of Denver's most active artist collectives and record labels. We've been pleased to include many Hot Congress artists on our local Mix Mondays and encourage you to download the free Spring 2013 sampler from their website. I will put a link to the download page in today's show notes. Our music today is of course courtesy of Hot Congress Records and includes tracks from Hindershot, Colfax Speed Queen, and Wire Faces. You can find a complete track listing on our website at www.literaryrecords.com. Enjoy the show. I'm down here at the Skylark with Lucas Johannes from Hot Congress Records. Great to have you down here, man. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Well, for those who may not be familiar, give us a brief overview of Hot Congress Records and how it got started. Hot Congress Records is, it's essentially, it's just a record label run by the artists that are on it. We started about three or four years ago, so 2009, I guess that would make it. We're kind of a bunch of bands. I don't know, we, I, I guess it was a scene of, of sorts. Uh, but uh, I, think, I think we just kind of saw a gap in, in Denver. Um, there wasn't... There wasn't really any sort of record labels that were that were looking inward, uh, that were just putting out records by Denver fans, and and you know we just kind of started hanging out, and, and instead of just playing shows together, we were talking about forming a collective, putting out compilations, um, helping each other pay for records, do all do all these things that a label does, and it's, it's been really organic since then. It's, it's very slow, slow growing process. But, uh, yeah, here we are a couple years later, and we put out, like, 20 or so records, and, and uh, the lineups changed quite a bit. Well, it seems like you've been making steady progress yeah. over the years, and just a lot of great music has been put Thanks. out probably because of it. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's good to it's good to drive each other. It's almost like a friendly competition, in a way. Like, you just you want to put out the best record that, that you can, and, and, like, now you have... We have this collection of records that are grouped together um, under the label of Congress. So, like, you want to you want to put out the best record that is under sure. that banner as well. Now, how many artists are currently associated with Hot Congress? Oh, um, sixteen maybe. Yeah. That's not bad. That's yeah. a pretty impressive roster. Yeah. Well, how does an artist become associated with the collective? Uh, is it by invite, or do they contact you, submit something? Uh, most of the time, it's been by invite. There, there's been some bands that have reached out by email, and and um, but I mean, most of the time we, we know them already. Uh, we, we've been to their shows, or, or we know them personally, and uh, you know we, we try to work with people that people that we know is just because of where we are right sure. now. It's easier to like front money to your friends' band than it is to front money to a complete strangers' band. Sure, I guess. Sure. So not just anybody can be on right. a conference. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's very exclusive. Sort of, yeah, yeah. It's very exclusive club. It's, it's the country club of Denver <laughs> labels, right? <laughs> we, should, we should have set it up more like Scientology, where we have to pay a lot of money to get in. <laughs> and then we'll think about it. <laughs> We'd be a lot better off right now. <laughs> so you do accept demo submissions? Yeah. I do so. Okay. Yeah, people send a lot of demos. But chances are, you probably, you're probably already familiar with somebody, even if they do submit some. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, 40, 50 people in, in the collective uh, individually. So there's somebody, somebody's heard of you, somebody's seen your show, sure. somebody's played with you. And, well, is there a particular criteria that you look for in an artist when deciding to work with them? Um, at first there wasn't. I think I think now really the only thing we look for is, is if you're a band that's pushing yourself on a national level, if, you, if you're willing to go on tours... Um, if you're willing to, you know, just do the things that you need to do to get out, out of Denver, um, I think we don't we don't really want people that are that are content with just playing around Denver and you know playing for 50 people at the high dive every every so, other Friday or whatever. So your goal is to definitely get people up and yeah, maybe absolutely. beyond Denver. Absolutely, it's, yeah. You're not just grooming local talent to stay local. Right, yeah. I mean, that there's an important distinction there. Right, know? right. Yeah, and I, I mean, that's something that's kind of developed as we went. Because, I mean, when we started, we were all kind of new bands, and, and we were just we were just trying to get more people to our shows, and, 
I mean, that's why we put out a compilation so people would come watch us play. Like, we were all fairly unknown bands at the time, and um, I think now. Well, that kind of now, leads now nicely all... uh, to the next question there. All right. You sent some bands to South by Southwest this year yeah. and joined Black Paint Music and Super Duper Records, right. which are both out of New York. Uh, yeah. And you guys did a day-long South by Southwest showcase, yeah. right? Yeah, it was awesome. How did that all come together? Actually, our friend Kim, who's been doing more work with with Hot Congress, um, she... She did all the ground groundwork. She uh, she found these labels that were looking for, for bands to join them on a on a showcase and and hooked us up with them. And we went down there and it was cool. They filmed it, they recorded it, and there was a lot of good bands all day. So is there going to be like a DVD coming out on Hot Congress or something? Uh, of some no, of the shows? I, probably just some like YouTube no. promo oh, cool. stuff. I don't think it'll be. I don't think it's that. that it wasn't quite that thing. professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, where can people get their hands on some of the great music that you guys have by Hot Congress artists? HotCongressRecords.com. Mostly your website. Yeah. How about any any local record stores? Twist and Shout, Wax Tracks. Um, yeah, all the all the record stores yeah. too. Cool. Um, have they been pretty supportive of, of your efforts, or yeah. is it just tough to get shelf space anywhere? No, um, it's Wax Tracks is always is always great. They're always always so supportive. I mean, they have they have bands playing there almost every Saturday. Um, Dave is Dave Lop- Dave Loperson is awesome. Um, he's he's so supportive of the scene, and um, and then Twist and Shout has been uh, more open to getting us in like listening stations and, and things like that and like open air has also stepped in and like they have a listening station and they always um, reach out every month when they're curating um, their listening station they're like do you have a new record like do we seems like uh, it's, it's radio great. 1190 is real supportive too it seems yeah like. yeah for sure well do you have quite a few hot congress artists playing the ums this year i think pretty much all of them Ooh. um i don't know i just kind of briefly scanned the they just put it out what today or yesterday that, that yeah like video. yesterday or the day, yeah but the the, yeah. the Bob Dylan tribute video kind of right thing, yeah that was yeah cool. it was cool um, yeah I think I think we're we're well represented for sure good uh, any other upcoming live shows or CD releases that you want to plug um, yeah yeah we have um, Kofax Speed Queen uh, is the next release um, we're doing vinyl with them uh, that'll be mid to late June when that comes out um, and then uh, also the Fine Gentleman's Club it's, uh, it's our first comedy our, yeah it's our, the first com- comedian um, well four comedians oh, cool. um, to join our label so it's so new, new territory I'm super yeah. excited about it they're all so so funny and you have uh, um, excerpts from uh, that on the sampler that just right yeah yeah it. Well, Lucas, I want to thank you for taking time to sit down with us and, and catch us up on what's going on over there at Hot yeah, Congress. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thank you.